actually, uh, IBM uh, inspired me uh, from Deep Blue to Watson uh, to let me devote myself into this AI enterprise. As it is so hard today, some of, someone said AI will take 70% of our jobs. But another people said AI, even what the advices they gave, are full of doubt, even given by Watson, right? But what we do is use AI model to imitate virtual teachers, to teach students every day. And we made that happen for recent years. And our students' number grow very fast. In only less than three years, the student registered to our Scoro AI uh, system uh, outcome one million. And uh, this year, we got one, we, we are expecting 200 million US dollars revenue. And uh, parents who paid for our system, more than 80% of them repaid. So they are very satisfied with this virtual tutor. And they think this virtual tutor teaches much more better than their teachers in the public or even private schools. So today, I will give a hint how this happened. You know, the Economist and Forbes said AI education may make learning more personalized, engaging, and even pave the way for a pedagogical renaissance. Yes, we will disrupt the education industry. Because for hundreds of years, a lot of things changed so much by technology, like the transportation, the communication. But as for education, we faced the same thing hundreds of years ago. Like today, like where I stand here, it's ridiculous. Why there's no so much change in this area? Uh, but recently, in recent years, a lot of AI education company raised a lot of money from Google Capital, from Zuckerberg, Jobs Family, Bill Gates, and uh, SoftBank. And also, our school AI Learning, founded only four years ago, we have already set 1,000 learning centers all over China in more than 200 cities. But in these centers, there are no teacher teaching. The students come and study from the score AI virtual tutors. And the human teachers just supervise. So they won't, uh, they, they are like the pilot, just monitor what the students do and what the data set. How AI do such thing? How they replace the best human teachers? First of all, we use the Bayesian network and the Bayesian inference to diagnose each student's knowledge state. By the traditional teaching, the teacher will give speech, like today, to every student, but their knowledge state are different. For example, when I was young, uh, I may have only 6% of the knowledge I don't know, but I always get bored by my teachers. But when I came into the Mass Olympic class, I feel fascinated because the teachers, what they give me, suit me well. So for our models, for the best teachers, we will give them most challenging knowledge point and the most challenging tutoring. And for another student, he may spare 80% of his time not doing the exercise that he or she already know. And for maybe poor student, we may choose only 20% of the knowledge point that is so easy to fit his level, to make him understand. Because in the class, he couldn't understand the, what teacher said. So we will, if the student got 50 points, we will give him knowledge at such as like 51 point level so that 
he can gain so much self-confidence to do that. And in the second phase, what our algorithm do is to find out the mastery point of each student on each naughty point. We found out in our data that even for one naughty point, different students will take quite different time to finish understanding. And for one student, even the best student or the poorest student, it takes him different time on different knowledge point. So by this funding, we find out that in this world, no two students should be placed in one classroom. We should give the, each of the students personalized learning paths and a different content. And the third phase, we can choose the loopholes and the weakness of a student. For example, we are focusing on the K-12 stage. If a student is in the ninth grade, but he couldn't just understand the one knowledge point, it's mainly because there's a knowledge point from sixth grade or seventh grade that he didn't master years before, so that he could not understand this knowledge point at ninth grade, so that we can find out what's the real the illness is in it, and we can find out the students, their abilities to learn and their preferences and give them different things to learn. Also, we have a lot of innovation compared to our worldwide competitors. The first is the nanoscale knowledge point. We divided the knowledge point 10 times more <laughs> smaller. It is like the pixels. If you use 100 pixels camera, that will not give you a clear picture. But we divide it into very small scale. But it's, nobody has done it in the world. So we have to find out how to divide, and we have to give definition to each of the knowledge points by our own. And by such move, we can diagnose the student more precisely and give, give them the best choice. And the second innovation for us is with decomposing learning abilities and learning methods. When I was young, I finished my uh, high school things when I was in elementary school, and I got eight offers from the top Chinese universities, and I entered uh, the college, the math it's called experimental class uh, when I showed in the uh, high school. And the professors who taught our class will let us finish one year's course for the computer science department or mathematics department student, college student in only three months for us. Uh, for me, I think knowledge point is not the most important thing, but every AI education system deals with only that. But we deal only with learning abilities and the learning method. And I think the skills, the abilities, the way of thinking will really help the student to benefit for all his or her life. But you know, it's very difficult to make an AI system to teach abilities and uh, thinking. But we are doing that better and better. The third innovation is the probability of relevance of non-relevant knowledge component. That was invented by me, because uh, when we divided the knowledge part into so small scale, I found for, for example, for the mathematics for the junior high school, usually the government will divide the knowledge point to 300, and our competitors like Newton, they will divide it into 3,000, and we divide it into 30,000. But we, it needs more content and more questions to ask the student to understand their state. How can we use 10 times less questions to diagnose what the student uh, how their state is. So it, it's like if we 
the traditional AI ways plus uh, is they use knowledge space theory and other algorithm. Like if you know hedge fund, I know I won't question you about a stock or shop. But should I question you on GDP or M2? Does a student understand these two knowledge points? We don't know. But by this theory, we can use the probability of relevance of non-relevant knowledge point. So if we question and we understand you know the concept of hedge fund, we will give a number like 92%, you will know the concept GDP. And you will have a 51% chance to know the concept M2. By that, when we ask 100 questions, we can give 30,000 knowledge points different, 100 times probability giving, so that we won't test other knowledge and we know the every exact knowledge state of the student. And also, the fourth innovation is we are developing the first self-evolving model in AI education area. You know, it's like uh, AlphaGo Zero. First, uh, three years ago, our model used human experience from the teaching experts, their strategy to learn, their way to teach, and uh, how to deal with uh, different uh, students. But now, as we already gathered a lot of data from the student, from the million of students, and also we have detailed profile of each student, we can use our AI model to imitate the student profile and use a virtual student to compete or learn from the virtual tutors. By that way, our model can evolve more and more quickly and give better and better result. So in America, uh, some of the AI education model already outperformed the best human teachers. And in China, our school AI robot outperformed human teachers who are called the super teachers. This is a title the Chinese government gives the best teachers, one out of a thousand. And uh, even I am one of the best students when I was young. I never met a super teacher in my life because it's so hard to meet. <laughs> and uh, CCTV, CNBC, NHK, and a lot of other press uh, reported that. And so after every seven, uh, three, uh, three months, we gave another competition from our machine to the human teachers. Even some of the uh, even one province of the government, they send out the teachers, one on three students, compete with our school AI system, and we win. And we, our, our paper are accepted by a lot of uh, very the first tier AI education summit and conference, and our chief architecture, our chief scientist, when they are to give technology speech, yeah, all over the world. This is Yanakai. And uh, we have a cooperation with the Stanford Research Institute, who invented Siri and uh, uh, the Da Vinci uh, robot. And we have a joint lab for already two years. In China, the K 12 after school training system are very huge. And the top five of the companies. One of it, the third one, I was a co-founder at that there. And my company went IPO four years ago. You know, the top three of us have 20 or even 40,000 teachers teaching the students. You know, each of the teachers are teaching different flavor of teaching style. They give different qualities. So if you buy a service in that education, even in Harvard, I think, 
Sometimes you will get, get the iPhone, and sometimes you will get no name, whatever phone. Yeah, you can't expect it. But by the AI teachers, I think we can get maybe 30 percent or even 70 percent of the market. Uh, but the biggest one education company consists only two percent of the market, and we already open learning centers all over China, even in Xinjiang and uh, Northeast China and Hainan province. Uh, but in our centers, the students learn, come and learn from the computer. Yeah, they don't learn from the uh, teachers. And you know, this is my driver's daughter. My driver failed his junior high school. And he spent too much time with me and his wife always scoping him about his daughter's uh, study because she always got uh, like 30 or 40 points in her exam. So, uh, his, his wife said, how ca can she do? She will fail the junior high school like you and get no jobless. And uh, the best she can get is maybe the driver. And when AI came, the driver will disappear. So what can she do? But by our system, only two months in summer holiday study. Uh, this girl, she got uh, 50 points at the beginning test of the semester. And after one year, she got 80 points in her exam. And she entered the uh, career school held by the Boeing company. And after another year, she got the top three of her class and was sent to Seattle uh, at July this, uh, this year. And she can later work in Boeing. So by this AI model, we really change the kid's life. This is what we do. And uh, the students who uh, have participated in our system, and after that, they get a big progress. And this is uh, the managing partner of uh, one of the biggest fund in China. It is kind of like Sequoia. And his son is uh, one of the best students in China. But after one year study by our score AI system, he got 80 points higher. And also, we are providing our school AI open platform for every education organization who focus on K-12. And we give them the engine, the power, to give better performance and service for the student. And also, we give out one million student account, because our account is really expensive. Yeah. No matter in China or even in Europe, we are so expensive. But we give one million account to the underprivileged poor family to make every student can learn from the best teachers. And also, we want to see the sparkle from the student's eyes. They won't waste time on useless exercises. And uh, they will get provoking, inspiring questions from our system because they know so much. They know nearly everything. They know nearly every teacher's the, the knowledge. And at the end, we want to build a super teacher, as erudite as Socrates, as versatile as Da Vinci, and as intelligent as Einstein. And I think we not only change the AI world, we not only change the education industry, we really can help the student in the future to learn much faster, much efficient, and in happiness. Thank you.